Welcome to a new Football Manager tutorial. Now since I've been doing these Football Manager experiments and also the Emulator Messi series I've had a lot of people asking about the editor, how to use it, how to install it, how to do various things. And I've done a couple of tutorials in the past. I did a big one last year um, where I went through various things but it, it's a bit haphazard. And I also did one on how to install the editor. So first of all, if you don't know how to install the editor, watch that video. It's got like 41,000 views. It's my most viewed video. And it just explains how to install it. If it doesn't work, then you've probably not got a legal copy of the game. Or something's just gone wrong. I, I don't know how. But yeah, watch that. I'll put it in the description below. So just click on the link. So once you have installed it and you open it, it comes to this screen. And what I'm going to be showing today is how to create a player. Something simple. I'm going to do a few videos. So they're not going to be too long, they're just going to be small videos of me doing various things on the editor. So first of all, you have to load the database, and you just simply do that and press OK. So now it's loaded, and you get this list down the left-hand side to do various things on the editor. Now to create a player, all you need to do is click on People, and click on Add, and you can add players, non-players like managers, coaches, that sort of thing and you can add various other things as well. So you just click on player and you quite simply just put in a name. So there we go. He's got a name. And you can click various things like ethnicity, hair color, skin. If you just leave it, it'll do it randomly. Um, date of birth, whatever really, whatever you want. Just leave that. And the nation, so you can do city of birth if you want nation where they're born it's quite obvious what you have to do with these things declared for nation usually means um, they're de so say you've got two nationalities uh, I think you can declare them for one nation for like England and their second nat nationality is Scotland so if you leave that unticked I think they can play for either um, so you can add second nations down here so you say your granddad was born in Northern Ireland you're eligible for Northern Ireland like me and then contract wise you can kick you have to uh, select a club for them basically so just type in a random club um, go for Everton and we'll put them at this Everton team or wherever really it doesn't really matter but yeah and then you have to select the date they joined but that automatically does 1st of July 2012 their weekly wage, so you can select that yourself. You can select if they want a preferred squad number. Um, but you can just leave most of it and it sorts it out, sorts itself out. You don't want to go too detailed. Then you've got attributes. These are sort of the hidden attributes, like adaptability, pressure, how well they cope with pressure. So if they cope well with pressure, give them 20. If they've very, got a very good sportsmanship, then 20. Um, then you can give them job preferences for when they retire. You can select the languages, player data, current ability, it's out of 200. So if you say 150, potential is what they can reach. So maximum of 200. There is something called, you can put minus 10 as well. Um, you can research it yourself if you want to know about that. Just type it in on Google. But it does mean if they've got minus 10, they're very likely to become a world-class player, basically. Home reputation, I believe, is out of 2. It might be out of yeah, it's out of 200, so that's how uh, highly regarded they are in the country, how famous they are, basically. Then height, height, and weight. I think height's out of about 208, which is centimetres, and weight's kilograms, so it goes up to probably about 90 or something. Left foot, right foot, it's out of 20, so how good they are right-footed or how good they are left-footed. Um, trained in nation thing, you don't really need to worry about it. It should sort itself out if you just leave that blank. Positions, also out of 20, so you can say you could give them multiple positions if you wanted. And everything else is out of 20, as you know, on the game. But if you leave it at zero, it will automatically do it for you. It will randomize it. And um, depending on what position you've selected them and other attributes you have given them out of 20. So um, it won't give you really obscure things that aren't suited to their position. It might do, but it should be sensible. But like I said, 
um, you've got the potential figure out of 200. So if you do put 20 on everything, they won't be 20 at the start. That's the potential they can possibly get to if they're trained up correctly, if you play them, uh, etc. and all the other possibilities in the game. So it doesn't guarantee they're going to reach 20 or have 20 at the start. So you just do that for the mental, physical and technical attributes and goalkeeping as well. Preferred moves, you can select things like they try the killer ball often. So there's a whole list. And that's basically how you create a player. So once you've created a player or players and put them in teams, then you open up the game, go to Football Manager, New Career Game, and you have to click on this change thing here to load a database that you've made yourself. And then you just select it, click confirm, and you load up a game like normal, and it will load that database, and you will have those players. Um, you can also create a team and put those players in yourself, but I'll do that some other time. I'll do another tutorial on how to create a new, completely new team. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. That's how I've done the emulating Messi series, basically. Just created the players, and away I went.